Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing fine at home. My name is Miss Camila, and today we're going to talk about sentences using means of transport. The objective is to identify use and form of positive sentences using means of transport. First of all, we're going to remember the means of transport that we have already seen. We know that we have three types, by land, by sea, and by air. In by land, we have car, taxi, bus, truck, roller skates, skateboard, underground, train, bike, and motorbike. By sea, we have ship, submarine, sailboat, speedboat, and kayak. And finally, by air, we have parachute, airplane, helicopter, rocket, and hot air balloon. Now we're going to learn about personal pronouns. These are the personal pronouns that we use in English. We have I, you, we, they, he, she, it. And we're going to see the meaning in Spanish. I means yo. You means tú o ustedes. We means nosotros, nosotras. They means ellos, ellas. He, él referente a hombre, she, ella, referente a mujer, and it, eso, referente a animal o cosa. And we're going to represent these personal pronouns by this icon. Vamos a representar estos pronombres personales por este icono. Next, we're going to talk about the verb ir. Vamos a hablar del verbo ir. And we're going to use it in two cases. Go and goes. Go, we will use it to, with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And goes, we will use it with the pronouns he, she, it. Vamos a utilizar en estas oraciones el verbo ir, que en inglés sería go. Pero tenemos dos tipos de este verbo, aunque significa lo mismo. Go y goes. Cada uno se va a utilizar con ciertos pronombres. Go se utiliza con I, you, we, they, y goes con he, she, it. Now we're going to learn how to create these positive sentences using means of transport. So first of all, we're going to use any personal pronoun. Next, we're going to use the verb go or goes depending on the pronoun. Next, the word by that means por o en. And finally, any mean of transport. So, for example, we can say, I go by train. Yo voy en tren. If you can see here, we use the verb go because we have the personal pronoun I. Como usted puede fijar acá, ocupamos el verbo go porque tenemos el pronombre personal I. Next, she goes by helicopter. Ella va en helicóptero. Here we use the verb goes because we have the pronoun she. Aquí utilizamos el verbo goes porque tenemos el pronombre personal she. And finally, they go by ship. Ellos o ellas van en barco. Now we're going to use these positive sentences using means of transport and images because it is easier for us to look at this way. Take a look at this image. As you can see here, we have a man and a sailboat. So we're going to make a sentence using the means of transport. In this case, we're going to use the pronoun he because we're talking about men. Next, we're going to use the verb goes because we are using the pronoun he. The word by needs to be in any sentence. And finally, the mean of transport that is using the image is a sailboat. Aquí, si te fijas bien, hay un velero y un hombre, por lo tanto vamos a utilizar el pronombre he que es referente a hombre. Como utilizamos el pronombre he, tenemos que utilizar el verbo goes. La palabra by va a ir siempre en cualquier oración positiva. Y por último, el medio de transporte que aparece en la imagen es un velero, sailboat. Next, take a look at this image. Here we have two people and they are driving a car. 
Here we can create this sentence, they go by car. Because we have two people, we have to use the pronoun they. If we have the pronoun they, we have to use the verb go. We also have to use the word by in any sentence. And finally, the mean of transport is a car. Acá tú puedes ver dos personas en la imagen. Por lo tanto, vamos a utilizar el pronombre they, porque habla de ellas. Como tenemos el pronombre they, vamos a utilizar el verbo go. Después vamos a utilizar la palabra by porque tiene que ir en todas las oraciones. Y por último, el medio de transporte es un auto, por lo tanto, vamos a utilizar la palabra car. Here is the activity. Look at the images carefully. Write the positive sentence using means of transport according to the image. Draw, paint and write everything on your copybook. Send the activity to our email english.cmhn at gmail.com with your name and grade. If you have any questions about the activity or the contents, remember that you can send us an email and we will answer you as soon as possible. Here's the activity. Remember, you have to draw and paint and write everything on your copybook. Take care and stay safe. Bye.